The purpose of the City of Richmond's Natural Gas Safety Awareness Program is to educate and inform about the importance of natural gas safety. We reach out to employees, our customers, and all who live, work, shop, worship, or play near natural gas pipelines. This video will offer a brief history of the natural gas distribution system and a detailed overview of the public awareness component of our overall safety program. There are five objectives of this public awareness program. One, recognition. We want you to understand how to recognize natural gas through smell, sight, and sound. Two, raising awareness. If you're in our gas distribution area, we want you to be aware of the presence of buried natural gas pipelines. Three, provide assistance to excavators. Whether builders, contractors, or do-it-yourselfers, to understand the steps to prevent third-party damage to underground lines and to respond properly if damage is caused to our pipelines. Four, help emergency response agencies that may assist the Department of Public Utilities in an emergency understand the proper actions to take in response to a natural gas release or a natural gas emergency. And five, Education of the public on the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning and the appropriate treatment should carbon monoxide poisoning be suspected. DPU operates the eighth largest municipally owned natural gas utility in the country. This is out of more than 940 in the nation. DPU has more than 110,000 residential, commercial, and industrial customers located within the city of Richmond, Henrico County, and portions of Chesterfield and Hanover counties. We operate eight gate stations from which natural gas is distributed throughout our system. We began as Richmond Gas Works in the late 1700s as a technological marvel at the top of a 40-foot tower shining light at the exposition down at the turning basin. Time went on and we used natural gas to be able to heat homes, to be able to light homes, and to be able to light our streets. In the mid-1700s, we built the Fulton Gas Works down in Fulton Bottom. And that's where we began to manufacture gas for a safe and reliable heating source, light source, and street lighting source for the community of Richmond. Eventually, electricity took over the lighting inside homes, but natural gas continues to be used to provide a safe fuel source and to be able to light our streets. Safety is not just a word for us. It's a part of our culture and our everyday life. And we always continue to improve in this area. Richmond Gas Works has a number of employees that work very hard very smart and very safe, and they also represent the brand. We're also about our customers and providing reliable natural gas services 24-7. But not just services, but also educating our public in regards to natural gas and ensuring their safety. Richmond Gas Works is also a trusted provider in the city for over 150 years. Richmond Gas Works is not just a provider to the community, but we're also a part of the community. Compressed natural gas has also proven to be a solid choice for fleet vehicles saving money and reducing emissions. Lighter than air, natural gas is a non-toxic, non-poisonous fossil fuel that is composed primarily of methane. Small quantities of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, sulfur compounds, and water may also be found in natural gas. A natural gas leak can be recognized in three distinct ways, what we call the three S's, smell, sight, or sound. Smell. In its natural state, natural gas is odorless, colorless, and tasteless. Before it reaches you, DPU adds a distinctive pungent odor, a rotten egg sulfur type of smell, so that if natural gas is escaping, it can be quickly recognized. Sight. You may see a white cloud, mist, fog, or bubbles in standing water, or vegetation that appears to be brown and dead or dying for no apparent reason. Sound. You may hear an unusual noise like roaring, hissing, or whistling coming from a natural gas pipeline in the area. What should you do if you suspect a leak? Just leave. Protect life first. Move to a safe environment. Then call 911 or the City of Richmond Department of Public Utilities at 804-646-7000. City of Richmond residents may also call 311. Do not strike a match, 
use telephones, switch on or off appliances, light switches, or even grab a flashlight in the area where you smell gas. Because natural gas has a combustible range of between 5 to 15 percent gas in the air, those actions could produce a spark that might ignite and cause an explosion. Natural gas is drawn from deep inside the earth and fed into lines that eventually feed into large transmission pipelines that crisscross the nation. Natural gas energy is the most popular home heating fuel in America, and its pipeline system is among the safest and most secure methods of transporting energy. These pipelines quietly, reliably, and efficiently deliver natural gas throughout the distribution area for residents, businesses, and industrial users. The City of Richmond DPU operates 1,825 miles of natural gas pipelines within our distribution area. Therefore, it is likely that everyone lives or works near a natural gas pipeline. DPU renews approximately 22 miles of gas mains each year. This program replaces older natural gas pipes with newer industry standard pipe that's more durable. The natural gas industry is heavily regulated. We work closely with the federal government to stay abreast of new regulatory methods and technologies that ensure the highest levels of compliance. As a natural gas provider, DPU continually evaluates its compliance and safety measures to enhance programs to meet all federal, state, and local regulatory requirements. The City of Richmond's distribution system provides gas to the customer through a service line from the main to the meter. The inlet side of the meter belongs to the city. The outlet side of the meter belongs to the customer and the house lines that provide service to his appliances. It is important to call 811 prior to any excavation. When 811 is called, they will come out and mark all of the gas lines in yellow. The electric lines they will mark in red, the sewer lines in green. These privately owned gas lines should be marked by a contractor or plumber before any digging or excavation is done in the area. Customers should take special care in and around their natural gas meters and natural gas piping. And be mindful of the following. Do not disconnect, move, or disturb the natural gas meter. Do not change or alter the service connection in any manner. Keep natural gas meter clear of brush, debris, or trash. Maintain at least a two-foot clearance around the natural gas meter. This is to allow access to the meter and meter shutoff valve at all times. Do not scratch or damage the protective paint coating on the gas meter and piping. Do not chain a pet, bicycle, gas grill, or anything else to the gas meter or piping. Do not anchor laundry lines or plant supports or hang anything from the gas meter piping. Maintain a safe clearance between your gas, charcoal, or propane grill and the gas meter. You should also be aware of the danger of injury associated with water temperature setting. Make sure your water heater is set to a safe temperature. Water temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit can cause scalding to young children and the elderly. Check the water temperature before placing a child in the bathtub. Never leave a child alone or with other young children in the bathtub. Do not use or store flammable liquids or combustible materials near your appliances, as invisible vapors from these, such as gasoline, paint, Solvents and adhesives are heavier than air and can travel great distances along the floor. A pilot light or lighted burner of a gas appliance can ignite vapors from flammable liquids. Keep combustible materials, including cloth rags and paper, away from your water heater, furnace, and other gas or electric appliances. Store all flammable liquids in tightly closed containers outside and away from children and gas and electric appliances. Like all forms of energy, natural gas must be handled properly. Despite an excellent safety record, escaping natural gas due to pipeline damage may pose a hazard and, under specific circumstances, has the potential to ignite. DPU works diligently to ensure pipeline safety through a variety of measures. They include routine inspection programs, design and construction practices, and industry safety practices, government oversight, and others. 
One of the major ways of preventing pipeline damage is the One Call Miss Utility program. Did you know every eight minutes an underground utility line is damaged because someone decided to dig without first calling 811? Whether you're a homeowner, contractor, or do-it-yourselfer, before embarking on any digging project, always call 811. Always call before you dig. Any excavation could potentially damage an underground gas line. A gas line could cause injury, could cause property damage. It's all the things we don't want to happen when we're working in our yards. So call 811. 811 is a free service. They'll come out and they'll locate all the gas lines and the water lines and anything else that's underground where you're getting ready to build a deck, where you're getting ready to put in a mailbox, whether you're going to plant trees. Make sure you call 811 for the free service to locate the underground utilities. When calling 811, homeowners and contractors are connected to Miss Utility. This is the local one call center. This one call notifies the appropriate utility companies of your intent to dig. Professional locators are then sent to the requested digging site to mark the approximate locations of underground lines with flags, paint, or both. The whole process takes approximately 48 hours and it's a free service. The depth of utility lines can vary for a number of reasons, such as erosion, previous digging, and uneven surfaces. Utility lines need to be properly marked because even when digging only a few inches, the risk of striking an underground utility line still exists. Since these pipelines are underground, the lines are marked with washable paint to approximate their location. These markings identify the material transported through the pipes. DPU operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. As first responders to a gas leak emergency, DPU works closely with emergency officials when there is a reported natural gas leak. DPU responds to every gas leak call within 30 minutes or less. When arriving on the scene of a natural gas leak, the priorities of first responders are life first and then property. Actions of first responders are to secure the area and take steps to eliminate ignition sources. Depending on the nature and location of a leak, emergency officials may choose to evacuate the general public from the vicinity of the leak and contact the City of Richmond DPU at 804-646-7000. City of Richmond DPU shares contact information with key state and local agencies specifically the state police, local fire and police departments, and the offices of emergency management. If you're an excavator and you hit a natural gas line, immediately stop work and evacuate the site to a safe distance. Immediately eliminate all sources of ignition. For example, truck and car motors, backhoes, and things of that nature. Alert everyone on the premises. Keep the public and traffic away. Do not try to fix the pipe or slow the rate of leaking gas. Do not try to extinguish a gas burning fire unless there is a threat to life. If you suspect or become aware of a dent, scratch, or coating damage to the pipeline, notify Richmond DPU at 804-646-7000 immediately. Carbon monoxide is produced by the improper ventilation of common household appliances. It can result from the incomplete burning of carbon-based fuels such as gasoline, wood, or paper. Early symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include headaches, nausea, and fatigue. These symptoms get better when you leave the area. Because carbon monoxide gas can go undetected in a home, early symptoms may be mistaken for the flu. More serious symptoms include loss of concentration, cognition, and memory. In advanced stages, victims may fall into a coma and death may be a result. Pets in the house may fall ill and die sooner than adult humans. So if your pet shows any of these symptoms, suspect carbon monoxide. Any closed-in area in the home that contains a motor vehicle, grill, lawnmower, gas stove, hot water heater, furnace, fireplace, or snowblower has the capability of containing deadly carbon monoxide fumes. This is not only in the garage, room, or basement where they are located, but in any attached living quarters as well. Here are some helpful tips to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. 
Never use a gas or charcoal grill in an enclosed space. Have your furnace regularly serviced. Do not idle your car or lawnmower in an attached garage, even with the garage door open. Have at least one carbon monoxide monitor in your home. If the carbon monoxide alarm goes off, throw open all the windows and doors immediately and get everyone out of the house. Then call 911. The purpose of DPU's Natural Gas Safety Awareness Program is to make our customers aware of how to recognize natural gas, what to do if there is a strong rotten egg odor of natural gas, and what to do if there is a natural gas leak. I see leak. what the problem is, ma'am. The pilot's out. It shouldn't be a problem for me to light. We it want to ensure that when it comes to natural gas safety, you protect yourself and those around you by following the basic actions and reminders highlighted in this video. Let's recap. DPU has more than 110,000 residential, commercial, and industrial customers located within the city of Richmond, Henrico County, and portions of Chesterfield and Hanover counties. A natural gas leak can be recognized by smell, sight, or sound. If you suspect that natural gas is escaping and there is a strong rotten egg odor, just leave the area. Go where the smell is no longer present and call 911 or 804-646-7000. City of Richmond residents may also dial 311. DPU will respond within 30 minutes or less after receiving this call. At the gas meter, the City of Richmond is responsible for the inlet side of the meter. This is the side that leads to the street. The customer is responsible for the outlet side of the gas meter, which leads into the home and connects to any gas appliances. Natural gas customers should maintain a two-foot clearance around the gas meter and the shutoff valve. Before starting any digging project, call Miss Utility at 811. This free service will mark all of your underground utility lines. Early symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning include headaches, nausea, and fatigue. These symptoms get better when you leave the area. Because carbon monoxide gas can go undetected in a home, early symptoms may be mistaken for the flu. More serious symptoms include loss of concentration, cognition, and memory. In advanced stages, victims may fall into a coma and death may be a result. If you suspect carbon monoxide poisoning, get fresh air immediately. You should also be aware of the danger of injury associated with water temperature setting. Make sure your water heater is set to a safe temperature. Water temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit can cause scalding to young children and the elderly. For additional information, call the City of Richmond Department of Public Utilities or visit us online at richmondgov.com slash public utilities slash natural gas safety. Remember, know what's below. Call 811 before you dig. Making you aware, keeping you safe. We're Richmond's Natural Gas Safety Awareness Program.